Guys, what's up? How's it going? Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm finding a bug, so please bear with me, but I do want to share with you, I recently got back from a really fun event in Columbus, Ohio called Korgs. Now, Korgs is an acronym, and I'm not quite sure what it stands for, to be honest. I think it's Central Ohio Retro Gamers Society, possibly, but this is, event has been going on for several years now. This is my second year in a row attending this event, and it's just a lot of fun. Uh, I hung out with my good friend, uh, Brett Weiss, shout out to him. He just came out with this book right here, the Super Nintendo Omnibus Volume 2. He has the second two volumes. The other one uh, is like this, but it's red. Uh, and this covers every Super Nintendo game. Uh, and what's cool is I'm actually featured in this as well. I did a couple games. I, I, a Super Mario Kart was one. I did another game as well. So pretty cool. Happy to be part of this, this book. Uh, shout out to Brett. Hung out with him all day. Uh, also hung out with uh, Leonard. Uh, he was a great author. Uh, done the book on the Phoenix, which I reviewed. Uh, really cool people. And shout out to to Gary, to both Garys who run this event. Van for helping us transport back and forth. It was a bit amazing. So without any further ado, I want to show you some uh, some footage of the show. Please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching, guys, and let's take a closer look. So here it is. This is Korg. So please bear with me, guys. Again, I'm not feeling 100. percent And I wasn't feeling 100 percent leading into this event, to be honest. But I wouldn't miss Korg's. For the world because this is an amazing event i wanted to highlight it for you guys held in columbus ohio really tight community there in columbus a lot of really cool game stores there's brett my my booth neighbor there's leonard herman that right there is a brown box that is a early prototype for the original odyssey system ralph bear is a good friend of his or was a good friend of his before he passed of course uh and he gave that to leonard so super cool can't really put a value on that it's pretty priceless pretty amazing the thing about korgs i love is this an event that's purely about gaming? I mean, if you like retro gaming, this is the place for you. A ton, not only starting with the NES, but going back to the ColecoVision days, the Atari 2600 days, 5200, the Vectrix, you'll find games here and they're all reasonably, reasonably priced. T-shirts, of course, really cool uh, T-shirts and prints. Some games here, I uh, love the display. N64, I need to start getting some of these N64 colored variations, really cool. Sega CD, GameCube, if you spot any games, let me know. Uh, Sega Master System. This is Gary's booth, actually, he had a ton of games, and uh, everything is uh, fairly reasonably priced, too, which is awesome. Here's a quick shot of Gary. Good guy, one of the nicest guys you guys will ever meet, honestly. If you ever get a chance to meet Gary, super cool dude. Jaguar. There's ClickVision, that's one of my favorite systems there. ClickVision, it's hard to find those games in the wild. A Vectrix, I love the Vectrix. If you guys don't have a Vectrix, which is that black screen there, that monitor there, definitely check it out. Emulation doesn't do that system justice. Just, I'm just saying. Here's another great booth here. More games and games on top of games. 2600, they did do an auction, which I don't think they did an auction last year, but they didn't do an auction. There's another room as well. Some Super Nintendo games, NES games, there's TurboGrafx-16, looks like it comes with a sports title, awesome. Atari 5200, notorious for, for their bad controllers there. These are cool posters uh, based on some classic games as well, pretty sweet. More bins, ah, pops. Pops are obviously huge right now. There are thousands of pops out there. And uh, you got a, just a wall of pop figures. Do you guys collect pops? Curious, if so, please leave a comment below which ones you're looking for, which one's your favorite pop. I've got a few pop figures. Uh, I just, I don't collect because frankly, there's too many of them to keep up. <laughs> uh, PS1 games. There's a puzzle there. There's a long box PS1 game. Some random random stuff here. Toys as well. So everything from like He-Man to Turtles to Transformers, Voltron, as you see there. Uh, there's a Ritual Boy import game there. Just, just quickly rip by it. Pretty cool though. These are where you get into some of the more rare rare games when they have cases like this. They're always buying. Good PlayStation 1 games. Here's to see Sega CD. Earthworm Gem. What are you guys' thoughts about the new Earthworm Gem coming out? It's pretty cool. Here's like a knockoff 
uh, mini NES mini with like 620 games in one it's I'm not quite sure of the quality of the games that don't own that unit but it's it's Chinese knockoff so you gotta be careful and television areas these guys are super cool they got a great podcast really passionate about the Intellivision system Game Boy games Game Gear games there's Final Fantasy 2 box which is pretty awesome one of my favorite Final Fantasy games out there that and 7 are probably my two favorite ones Got some mugs, Sega Master System box. A lot of Sega CD games here. Surprised. Tiger handhelds. Love them. Awesome. Pretty classic. Quite a few of them too. Game Genie for the Super Nintendo. Some classic t-shirts. There's a Game & Watch. Neo Geo Pocket. Pretty awesome. systems. There's a Saturn system there, N64. Do you guys have events like this in your area? Uh, let me know. I'm curious. There's some box NES games. Atari 2600 Mini, or the Model 2, whatever. Smaller one, slim dirt down version. That's where I was set up on the table there on the right. Collector Vision Games promoting, promoting City Hunter and the Curse of the Mayan. I sold some copies of... Uh, and Hell of the Caverns of Death as well while I was there. I've got to meet some really cool people. Always appreciate people coming up. Come say hi. Awesome. More Sega CD games and Sega Master System games. There's PS1. So, as you guess, in Stell. There are plenty of options to pick up games at Corps. And this show is only going to grow. It's only going to get bigger with more vendors and more attendees. And everyone, like I said a million times before, it's super, super nice. Awesome hospitality in Columbus. Ton of NES games. There's Zelda for the Super Nintendo. Green of Time, one of my favorite Zelda games. Box Genesis, some Sega Master System games, and they had some some crafting there too. They had some some art artists there, which is awesome. Always appreciate those guys coming to events like this, and uh, just a ton of stuff. There's some books. They had some limited run games there too from uh, PS4 and, and Switch. Here's kind of the other room, as well as there's a second room. They had more games. There's like three arcade machines. They had some indie developers here in this room as well, which is cool. Always like to support those guys promoting their games. Anyway, I appreciate you guys watching this video. Thank you so much for subscribing. You guys get the idea. Korg's is a great event, and uh, I encourage you guys to check it out if you're in the Columbus area for sure.